Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to my Sierra Leone 2020 travel vlog. This is going to be the first vlog. Let's just say you're in for a wild ride. So you better buckle up. So the 15th of January, we are now rushing to the airport. Literally, we are running late. Not lately, late, late. We are supposed to check in at, by check-in closes at 10 past 4. It's already like 3.50. Can you imagine? I'm just praying and hoping we can make it there. Um, Harrison is already sleeping. But he needs to wake up and do that in the flight. So he will not get to annoy me. And here, of course, Dr. Hannah. She looks very excited. They have been before. This is going to be the first, second day, second time. But I feel like they're going to enjoy it more now. Because they're, now they're a bit older. And we'll be able to explore more. My sister is calling to say her farewell and bon voyage. I'm going to definitely miss her and the boys. My nephews for the next couple of weeks. But I'm looking forward to going you know going somewhere sunny and just going somewhere to just relax and just take a break even though i know it's gonna be hectic woo, 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 woo. we made it we actually made it we are now in a flight and it's about to take off we made it thankfully yeah harrison is saying he wants to go out i don't know how he plans on doing that but yeah, it's not gonna be for us. The food, the food is actually not bad. We are flying, we are flying with them, um, well, Air Maroc, and although the kids didn't actually like much of, the, they only like like the snacks from their own food. They're looking at the pasta like, what is this? <laughs> Please give me some rice. <laughs> Oh, we are now in Casablanca. Mommy, the are now getting onto our transit flight that's going to take us now to Freetown. I thought, you know, maybe because it's night time, but I thought Casablanca was like really hot because it's in Africa, but apparently not so much. Maybe it's because it's morning hours. Literally, I had to put on my coat again. We are now in a flight on our way and thankfully Harrison has slept off. Thank you God. It's much more easier to deal with one, especially to deal with Hannah. Yay, we are here. We are here. We are here. Yes, thanks be to God. We're here. We're now at the airport. We've got our luggages. We've got my uncle picking us up. He's a major in the army, Syrian army. We had to go through so many checks just to go out of the airport. I don't even understand, but oh my god. I can smell that air, I can smell that breeze, that African breeze. Oh my lord. It feels good to be home. It feels good. I can't wait to just go home. That's the good thing. Our home house is only like 10 minutes away. And look who's here. My PRO and the social activity coordinator. And they went straight for the twins. But it's all good. All good. But it's good to just come back and see them. And um, yeah, so we can get busy and get some work done as well. As well as, you know, get some fun done too work hard, play hard. As we're making our way home, Hannah started complaining. Say, why is my head shaking because of the bumpy roads like you are in Syria and this Africa is called Lunge. This huh? is Africa. Lunge. And here we are. Yeah. It is the first day and my aunties, they are here just singing and dancing for us, welcoming us, welcoming especially the twins and this is what I love, this is what I miss, and oh my lord, 
Hey, it just feels good to be back home. It feels good. <laughs> oh, my God, so much fun. And it's only a few hours. I wasn't even able to sleep. I haven't been able to sleep, but I am just excited. Yeah. And all the singing and dancing it reminds me of when I was a child and my aunties would be singing and clapping and I'll be dancing. And that's exactly what we're doing. Nothing changes, even though we're only going by age, but nothing changes. The love, the excitement, everything still remains the same. And I'm just so overjoyed to be here. So the first thing I did was to go off to the market, Roti Funk Market in Lunge, to get some slippers for the kids, just something comfortable because they'll be mostly at home. I just feel like, you know, it's easier to just get it there because they're only going to use it there anyway. Then go in and buy expensive things that they're only going to use for a few weeks. You can tell Harrison is just, he is just itching and scratching to go play. The heat is just, look at that sweat. The heat. Hannah is just busy making friends wherever she goes. <laughs> Even people that don't know her, she just be making friends. When I tell you Harrison is just is just itching to just let, he just wants to be let loose. He just wants to be let loose so he can go and run about. But no 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 safety first. I'm already so indecisive. The ladies look at me like, just buy. If you're going to buy, buy something. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, back at home, and my cousins are here entertaining me. Who needs um, clothes? Who, uh, well, not, who, needs clothes? who needs all this, you know, expensive stuff where you can have this? This is just priceless. And I don't know what dance this is, but all I know is that they are going to be doing my laundry. <laughs> Clearly, look at, they already have everything going. They just need the clothes and the soap. That's all they need. So they better get ready. And Hannah, she is in her own world. She is just, while they're doing their routine, she is just doing her own thing. Oh, now I don't know what's itching them, but okay. And then here you go, one of our top dancers, my cousin Jibo. I told you they are going to be doing my laundry. All they need is clothes and soap and washing up powder. They are good to go. He is just talented. Look at him go. And the next day I went to OIC, which is a vocational center for youths so they do a range of subjects like catering electrical installation plumbing this is one of the plumbing um, classes and look at all the basic tools that they have but yet they are doing what they can you know they have they don't even have so much resources but the fact that they're still going on the fact that they're still like perceiving and wanting to make a better life for themselves i truly admire them you know it's people like this that they need the support 
uh, they need the support this is why i'm so passionate about youth development as well and being able to make a difference because by making a difference to just that one person you are making a difference to an entire generation to come and that's what my foundation is about and i like to go out there in the field and actually see for myself uh, and not just be told we are now making our way back to the house because i don't like to leave the twins for too long even though i know they are definitely safe but i myself need to rest so this is a, a form of transportation we use um, motorbikes locally known as okadas and i like to just when i want to get something done i just want to go get it done so even though there is a car parked at home i rather just jump on this because it's quick and i can just get where i need to get it's much more of a hassle when i have to use a car find where to park and all of the, this can get me somewhere very quick and i have my cousin there aka my everything <laughs> behind me he goes everywhere with me so you see me you see him we went the bike ride i needed fuel we went to the filling station and guess what there was no fuel how do you have a filling station but there's no fuel to fill in what are you gonna be filling in uh, it's beyond me i was just laughing like oh lord help god save us god saves when we save this beautiful country please lord it's such a shame and i'm just here munching away we are right by the airport because i am going only like 10 15 minutes away from the airport i go past it like every day almost every day i go past the airport yes, really cool. as i was getting my hair done and slayed and laid all of a sudden i just heard screaming and i was wondering like what's happening apparently because light kept then we had electricity so they would, the power company basically supplied our area with light that day because the day we got there it, there wasn't there was a blackout so and apparently they, uh, it has been it had been a week of that blackout so when the finally they were able to reinstall the electricity that's why everybody was screaming it almost scared me the way the entire neighborhood started screaming <laughs> and i'm getting my head going because tonight tonight i'm going out with my team members my friends and i'm uh, just coming out and just gonna let loose let loose <laughs> When I tell you the hairdresser, I'm also being so annoyed. Like, I do my hair is worse than doing a child's hair. I cannot sit still to save my life. I'll be turning there, turning there, getting up, doing this, doing that. Something that's supposed to take you two hours. It will take like twice as much. Because you see, I'll be talking there, doing this, doing that. You can tell the lady just wants to finish and go about her business. <laughs> I wish I could. They say, work hard, play hard, and the Door Foundation team definitely knows how to do both. So we are out today. Um, they brought me to this nightclub that everybody was talking about even before I went there, a mama's nightclub. So I'm here to check it out and see how it goes. Yeah, see how it goes. See if he lives up to the hype. Yeah, partying like it's 1999. And look at my peer and just leaving it up, eh? We are having fun, my lord. Just leave it up.
the way he started doing that at first i thought he stepped on something <laughs> or oh, his leg had issues <laughs> oh my lord i can't even stop laughing the way he just started <laughs> putting his foot i thought something went wrong i was about to say what's wrong what's wrong so he stepped on a nail something <laughs> That's what happens when you're just having fun. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Everybody has um, the 